this is the continuation of the previous class that is the chapter pressure of the physics now i want to again mention that in previous class i told you that pressure is mapped into 15 points i mapped this into 15 points and till 13 i discussed in previous class now we are starting with point number 14 that is water pump and let's start with water pump what is water pump it is a device which is based on the principle that the liquid flows from a region of high pressure to a region of low pressure and it is used to pull underground water this may be the introduction or definition of water pump now i want to show you the diagram of water pump and uh, i want to describe with the help of diagram how it works the examination in examination question maybe draw need diagram to show water pump and in uh, examination maybe what is up stroke what is down stroke and what happens in up stroke what happens in down stroke that is the working principle of water pump now i want to uh, show you diagram and i want to explain how it works if you are told to draw a diagram to show a water pump then you can draw this diagram uh, not both this one of them can be drawn and with label you have to label also now if you are told how a water pump works then you have to explain the working with two diagrams but sometimes maybe uh, how a water pump works when kind of in down stroke maybe the question and maybe how a water pump works when uh, when there is up stroke maybe the question that's why it depends upon question okay i want to describe all look at this what is down stroke when the handle of the water pump is pulled upward then piston moves downward and this is called down stroke but what is up stroke when handle of the water pump is uh, pushed downward and uh, at this time this piston moves upward and this is called up stroke now what happens in down stroke let's talk about this uh, basically water pump consists of a barrel a hollow cylindrical barrel and a piston moves up and down being very fit with the inner wall of the barrel there are two valves one is at the tip of the piston that is uh, here represented as b1 and another is uh, in between the underground pipe and the barrel that is b2 now what happens in down stroke when uh, the piston moves downward then the space between b1 and b2 two valves decreases space decreases means volume between volume of this part decreases when volume decreases then pressure of this part increases pressure of the of water in this part is high that's why water tends to enter into underground water underground pipe also water tends to move upward also but there is ball b2 which can which doesn't open downward that's why it remains closed and water cannot enter into down uh, this underground water pipe but in the same time actually this water pressure uh, forces this uh, ball b1 to open and liquid i mean to say water enters into this side i'm um, above the uh, ball b1 and this is the action during down stroke but what happens in up stroke in up stroke piston moves upward when piston moves upward then the space between two valves this is the space between two valves increases it means volume increases increase of volume decreases the pressure of this region and when pressure of this region decreases then water from the upper side also tends to enter into this side and water underground water also tends to enter into this side but water from the upper side cannot enter into this space because uh, of the water pressure which closes the valve b1 at the same time the pressure the pressure of the underground water opens valve b2 and it enters into the space here water is entered but in the meantime piston is moving up 
and water content above this valve V1 is pulled upward and it comes out through the outlet. This way, this water pump works. Okay, numerical problem related to this chapter pressure uh, is generally of three types. You may be asked these three types of numerical problem. One requires the use of P equal to F by A pressure equal to force by area. Another numerical problem may be related to Pascal's law where uh, there is uh, one equation F1 by A1 equal to F2 by A2. Using this formula, we'll calculate uh, one of these uh, not given quantity. And third numerical problem may be related to upthrust. P equal to F by A, Pascal's law, and upthrust. The numerical problem related to these three uh, part uh, can be asked in uh, SAE examination. Now, I want to start with the first one. Pressure equal to force by area. One of the numerical problem related to this. Uh, I want to uh, show you this numerical problem. Look at this. Calculate the pressure exerted by the given solid body of weight. 50 Newton having length, breadth and height 3 meter, 2 meter and 1 meter respectively on the surface of contact in each case. And two diagrams are given case number 1 and case number 2. Now how to solve this numerical problem? Actually this numerical problem gives us uh, an idea of use of pressure equal to force by area and this numerical problem also tells us that pressure is inversely proportional to area. Let's start to solve this numerical problem. Weight force F is equal to given 50 Newton. In first case also, in second case also it is same. That's why 50 Newton. Now area. Area in first case what is shown in the diagram this is somewhat this type of body and it is placed like this. This means it is lying down length and breadth wide. That's why area is equal to length into breadth. This is equal to length is 3 meter into breadth is 2 meter and this is equal to 6 meter square. Now pressure is asked question mark. Now we can use this equation P equal to F by A and the value of force is 50 Newton, 50 Newton and area is 6 meter square and we can calculate easily or P is equal to 6 8s of 40, 6 8s of 48, uh, 8.6 3s and 3s Newton per meter square Pascal. This is the pressure exerted by uh, the given body in first case. But in the second case, what is there? The same body is lying this way. I mean to say it is lying on the surface uh, like uh, breadth and height wise. Breadth and height wise. That's why area should be breadth into height. And this is equal to breadth is 2 meter and height is 1 meter and this is equal to 2 on the 2 meter square and pressure is equal to question mark. And force, force is 50 Newton, it is given, and area is 2 meter square, it's very simple. Therefore, pressure is equal to 225 to 50 Newton per meter square is Pascal. It means, when body is lying length and breadth wise, then the pressure will be less, that is 8.33 Pascal. And when the same body is lying, breadth and height wise breadth and height wise then the pressure is more pressure is more 25 pascal it means pressure is inversely proportional to the area if area is more pressure will be less if area is less pressure will be high this conclusion also uh, can be obtained from this numerical problem okay we'll continue the numerical problem in another class also this much for today